Hello and welcome to another video. This will be another Larry's Lounge reaction. This one is called Where's My Bill? Um, and really that's really the first thing you're going to hear him say in this video too. Um, this is related to that Bill, Bill thing uh, that Tom put on Larry, I believe, before he went on this trip. So I think that's what this video will be referring to. Um, because he said he's going to forego or cancel, not make Tom pay the uh, oil change. Because Tom could have done that on his own, but uh, Larry decided to do it for him. So, Plus, Diana is the one that took him out to look at cars and stuff anyway. So, you know, Larry shouldn't have gone upset with Tom for that. I mean, things were a little tense, but things really got tense stemming from that. Anyways, with that being said, let's get into this reaction. Where's my bill? Right, that bill. The, uh, yeah, I was expecting the, uh, this nice little uh, typed up bill that you were going to hand the B, uh, yeah, that you were going to hand me and everything. Where's it at? So, I put some thought into it. Mm -hmm. And I ultimately decided that... In the long run, it's not going to be that good of an idea. Really? So you had an epiphany? You could call it that, I suppose. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's, you know why? Because, Tom, you would have opened up something that you had no idea what was going to happen. Technically, you opened up something when you did the bill thing for the oil change. So I, I kind of have to be on Tom's side as far as that's concerned from what I saw in the last eight videos by now? Maybe nine? This is not counting launch TV, by the way. I, I don't even want to have to say it again. Not, not the point. I decided that it would just be better for both of us in the long run that... Both of us? No. Yes. It's better for you in the long run. Not both of us. I said what I said. I think it's... I still... I don't change that. How's it better for me? Could you take care of the chickens? quote Joe that's neither here nor there. The point is... You know, Joe usually says that when he doesn't have a counterpoint. Again, neither here nor there. Yep, there we go again. The point is... You're, you're neither here nor there. They, they've been using Joe's line on that lately. He, I mean, Joe would say that a lot and lately. I've been hearing Tom say it. I think even Larry said it once. And I used the term once as well when I was talking with Ariel the other night or last week or something. Is For that two. it's gone. And I'm not gonna bring it back. I, and oh, you're not gonna put worry squash that. It's that, that's that's not gonna come back up ever. That particular bill. I don't. So think you that, got no problem taking care of the chickens next time when I go away. I already told you that. And I was the time gonna, after that when I go away. Huh? I have two more things coming up. Two more vacations. Yeah. I told you about him. I forgot about the one after that. The one after that's going to be going to Disney. That's right. Yeah, so, uh, so you have no problems taking care of them, huh? I d does that, it doesn't conflict with your schedule, does it, in September? Because well, it's in I September. You got anything planned in September? I don't know. Maybe. I. Yeah, I, I can see where this is going. Oh, uh, yeah, you know what? I got another question for you. What about your car? What about it? I'm really tired of looking at that piece of crap in here. Like, you said you were going to go get a new car, and you said by the end of, if I, if, if I remember correctly, on a, uh, July? That was the plan originally, yes. Well, you'd have to really work pretty fast to get that uh, by July, you know, the end of July, wouldn't you? I mean, uh... So, okay, you know, I'm fairly new at this, the whole getting a new car thing, didn't realize how long it would take, plus yeah. I know I dragged my feet a little bit back in the spring, haha, ha, whatever. You mean procrastinate? You mean your middle name? Anyway. Go ahead. Point that I'm, what, what was I even saying? I want to know what happened with the car. Right. So, while you guys are gone, I did go to the dealership myself. What? Oh. I feel faint. Uh-oh. Yeah, real funny. 
<laughs> what? It, you! He's like, oh, I, I did something. Oh, 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 geez, oh, geez, oh, oh, I can't believe you did that. I can't believe you. I mean, Tom is trying to talk to you. You should have, like, at least listen to him and stuff. So, believe me, my dad was doing this. <laughs> oh, my God. Did it? Where are you going? What is, is it? Because I don't even know you're going to oh, do yeah, seriously. Oh, 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 I forgot. You were over your outside limit. You were out there now, for... This is why I'm walking away from you. Because you're not even taking me seriously with this. All right, go ahead. Seriously. No, Tell me. So I went there. I test drove an Elantra. I found that I don't really like it all that much. Okay. It feels a little too, like, cramped and, like... I, I told you that, didn't I? I told you, if you, if you drive the highest model, right... And then you go down to the other one, the one under it. Of course, it's going to seem very small and everything. That's how it is. So you didn't like it. Didn't like it. So I've decided that I do want to get a Sonata. However, okay. they didn't have exactly what I had wanted there. So uh, yeah, it, was, it, was, <laughs> it was a whole big thing. What do you mean? They didn't, they didn't have what? So... For one, they didn't have the color I wanted there, and apparently nobody has the color that I had wanted of that model. Did they say anything about trading? Actually, yes, they did. I was getting to that when I was going to be talking about pricing. Uh, they said they were going to get $1,000 for that car. 1000 Yeah. Well, you got to take that. Well, if they had that I had wanted, then perhaps I would have. What do you mean they didn't? What, what didn't they have? They didn't, what, what do you want that they didn't have? So specifically, I wanted to get a limited model of Sonata in, uh, what's, what's the name of the paint? Uh, Carbon Blue, which is this really cool, like if, if you're up close to it, it looks I like... I know, I remember looking at the book. It's the best color that they had of it. Yeah. So they, didn't, they, they naturally didn't have that color there. Didn't have that. They said that according to their search, like nobody has it within like 150 miles. And in order to really get one, it was going to be a significant upcharge to import it in from wherever else in the country. Sure. According to their logistics, there's physically two new limited models in the entirety of the Northeast. Well, see, this is the thing. This is what the Seattle's people do, right? They do this crap. They do it they, to sell the car on their lot so they don't have to get one from some other lot. Oh, this yeah. That's what they do. Um, I hope to God you didn't say that you would settle for a different color. I hope to God you didn't say that you would settle for a different color. No, he, he tried to get me to settle for red it was. I don't really want a red car. Like well, a, red, red's not bad, I mean. The red still looks though, nice. I mean, it used to be, and I don't know if it's a fact or not, it used to be like a thing that uh, back in my day, they would say that red cars got pulled over more by the cops. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not. It could be just a little wives tale. I don't know. But I mean, I don't know about that. I'm not sure it's like in New Jersey. I just know there's a lot of idiot drivers in Arizona that drive red vehicles. My mom's told me a couple stories about that. So I totally get the distrust of red cars and all that. Um, my mom doesn't trust red cars, and it doesn't seem like Larry and. Talking about too keen with the red car stuff either. Diana doesn't seem to mind because Diana has a red, uh, like, SUV. But still, um, I just wanted to bring that up real quick. We got a, we got a uh, red rogue. I mean, and that, we don't get pulled over. If you speed, you get pulled over. Right. Maybe it's more like the type of people who get red cars are more likely to... So what's the other color choices besides red? Uh, let's see. There's red... That they, ha that they have. That they have. Or they can get. That they could get uh, a gray color, I believe. No, you don't want gray. I mean, we've been looking at this gray piece of crap out here for how long? You know, that's all you've ever had was gray. The car before this was silver, which is a form of gray. Was it like a, like a champagne color? No, it was silver. That was uh, Grandma's car. Yeah, that, that, yeah, wasn't, that, like, was, that wasn't directly it was, silver. No, it was silver. It was silver. I mean, like, if I pull up, like, a, the color silver, it, that's not the color that it was. was it, it, it was silver. It certainly it was, wasn't. Don't, I know what it was. It was so silver. So do I. I drove it. Uh, Tom, I saw that car way more times than you did. Yeah? I saw that car before you were born. Okay. It was silver. <laughs> it, 
Look, we, we don't need to argue about what color a car that is probably just a cube by now. I mean, if you want it gray, give gray. I just think it's gray. Is Some of the grays did look pretty good. Like, there was this one uh, Elantra Limited that uh, was gray on the outside, but it was like a, a different sort of gray that actually looked like really sleek. But did they have that in the Sonata? No, that was only an Elantra color. Oh. So. Well, so what is your decision? So my decision is, is that I am going to wait for the 24 models to come out before I uh, check to see what might have me like upgraded or what, or like side grades from uh, the 23 models and then go how, from there. How much, uh, how much are these cars? Uh, like the one that you want? Ballpark estimate like 36. That's like MSRP. See, when you're paying that kind of money, you have to get what you want. You don't oh, yeah. let them tell you what they, you know, what they have on the lot to try to push off a gray color, and so that you're not happy with it. You know what I'm saying? For sure. And like I looked up what the 24 models look like, and they actually look like pretty good aesthetically on the outside, inside what, too. What you're thinking about waiting on 24? Well, not until the 24 models will come out before. Yeah, when, are the they year come, when do they come out though? I uh, think had a couple months. So so now we're going to wait a couple months. I'll tell you what, if you wanted a 24 and that's the way you look at it, that's fine. However, this car has to go through inspection. I'm aware of that. I will take care of it. You know, I, I understand it's my car. It's my responsibility. I will do it. Good. Good. Uh, so how much money do you want to put down? How, what, did they talk prices at all with you? Like how, if they would come down or anything like that? Uh, we started to. Um, he said he's going to take 3K off of what dealers will normally do for the car, but as just like a end of the month, end of like the 23 model lifespan sort of yeah. deal. Uh, he said it's, that I'm not going to get that same sort of thing later on with the 24s, but I don't know if that's going to be the case or not. See, there again, that's a pressure pressure uh, thing that they do to try to make you go on one that they had. Yeah, no, for sure. That's what they're trying to do. I mean, that's what the salespeople do. They can, they can actually get on your freaking nerves. Sometimes you just got to walk away from them. Yeah. Car dealers can be like that. I never experienced this myself, but I've seen it on TV and, uh, and with uh, other family and friends of mine in the past. Um, I had to deal with something like this. Uh, they can be irritating. I think when I was like 10, uh, my dad had to deal with an annoying car dealer too. Um, this is when he got his F, when he started going truck mode. I don't know if he still primarily drives a truck, but I know when I was in middle and high school, that was the main thing that he drove. So, part of that had to do with the desert trips that I took with my dad. And sometimes I knew at, at the time as well, so. But still. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and continue this video. Well, speaking of those sets of trips, I wish I still had my quad because I could definitely ride that around uh, around here. You know, desert, right? So, anyways, let's continue. <laughs> well, <what's, laughs> this is actually funny. Uh, when I had made the decision that I wanted to do the 24 and I told him, mm -hmm. he, like, got up and, like, stormed off. I think he went to go just talk to the sales guy, but, like... He didn't even say, like, a goodbye, pleasure to talk with right, you, I'll right. see you again later. He just, like, and, like, because I had said something to him while he was walking up, he, like, said something dismissively and walked off. So I, as I was going back to my car, I was just like, all right, I see how it is. Did you tell him that you put any money down? I did. How much? Um, about half of the car price. Okay, so you're paying cash half of that car price. You have that, I mean, why, why would he get mad? I mean... He should be like elated. Okay, this this dude's gonna pay half of the money down. Put half the money down. Oh my God! I mean, that's what I'm saying. You're you're thirty six thousand dollars for a car, Tom. I th I definitely think you should get the color that you want. And if you Absolutely. Want, and, and if you're gonna have to wait until the twenty fours, then wait till the twenty fours. But don't settle for a color you don't want. No, I mean just give my it. car for as far as I can tell the foreseeable future. Right. And then yeah, if you're gonna get a new car, Tom. Make sure it's a car that you really want. Don't let some car dealership mess with you. I don't know, ever since the, uh, I, I think it was the 80s, um, car dealership guys have gotten more irritating. I think in the past, it wasn't as bad like in the 60s and 70s. It um, wasn't that bad, but I think 
80s, 90s, that's when they started getting ridiculous. So, I don't know, I'd have to look into that, but, yeah, just wanted to bring that up. Beyond that, right. if I can help it. So, are you still going with the, uh, hybrid? No, I decided against the hybrid. The, Which as, of, as of right now, the higher costs versus the benefit of having a hybrid yeah. doesn't... Especially since you don't really apply. You don't really drive very much. Well, well yes, maybe you will more with a uh, brand new car. Right, and I do intend to cruise can... around the around the neighborhood and everything. Well, like go to, like grocery shopping once a week, or maybe once every other week or something for myself. Oh, so you're gonna, we don't have to feed you anymore? I mean, like I'm not gonna like completely. We only have so much room in the fridge. If I like have to make entire meals for myself, we're gonna run out of room, and then guess what? You might have enough room for beer in you there. You might want to label some stuff because if I go in there and I see some ice cream. That's yours, and I didn't know that. I mean, I might take a bowl of it. I'm not sure. You know, I'm just saying you might want to. So what you're saying is you would adhere to if I started labeling food that I made that's supposed to be mine. Yes, exactly. Huh. I, like I mean, I'm just saying. I could eat it. Anyway, this is the, look, this is the size of zucchini that you should be picking. Small. Oh. Not a Fred Flintstone club like this, all right? So that's pretty enormous. Yeah. I would actually knock you out, probably. probably, and I wouldn't even be able to see it coming. Yeah. All right. So I mean, so you you, you haven't decided yet whether you're going to wait or not. The decision's made. I'm gonna be waiting, like unless I happen to like, because I haven't really checked like Carvana or anything yet. I was gonna actually do that later. Well, I, I would I would give him the ultimatum. You have his card uh, digitally, but yes. I would send him an email. And say, my decision is, if I cannot get that blue color of a 23, I am going to wait for the 24s in that color. Right, because, you know, oh no, I'm going to be waiting and giving you more money later. And, oh, you could, geez. and I would even write like in there, it's like, no. the amount of money that this car costs, I feel that I should be getting the color that I want, not a color that you want to get rid of. Yeah. I would I would put that down. This is how you do, Tom. You grab them by the balls, man, and this is what you do to them. Well, of course. You have all it's the customer. I'm looking you for have what all I the want. power. Right. You have all the power. It's your money. Yep. Remember that. All right. And, uh, I do. You know, you could go out and do something outside. You know, like you know, get a little sun or something. You know what I'm thinking? Uh, I think you need to start working out. Yeah, that's funny. Why is he bringing that up? Hmm. Huh. Guess we'll see what happens with that. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Stay tuned for the next one.